Hello everyone, we're Seas Brain Comes, and today we're doing Crash Bandicoot, finally. Well if, well, if that screen isn't nostalgic, I don't know what is. Yeah. And nah, that screen's not nostalgic, it's uh, too brand new. I mean, I saw uh, five times just booting up all that. And yeah, we have two new uh, members here, so why don't you two introduce yourselves? Whoever wants to go first. <laughs> Oh, you I'll go, I'll lazy go, I'll go. little shits. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do it, I'll do it. But, uh, hi, I'm Juniper1995, you can call me Jason. I'm uh, uh, part of uh, GOAS, like Lewis. Hi, I'm Diamond Key from Key Gaming, but you can call me Joe. Or oh, Joey, whichever you want. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> my lord! You rang. Oh my god. If you look at their bones, they're Give me cool. stick! Yeah. But yeah, this cutscene actually uh, only plays after you stick at the towel screen for a while. So I edited edited this like after the um like the logos, logos and stuff came up. Yeah, it was like uh, I'm trying to remember. It's like I'm trying to make like an army of like evil animals. I think it was. Yeah. That looks so yeah. weird. And yeah, and as you guys said earlier, the nostalgia is so high right now. Yeah. God, I haven't played this game in like. Six, well, I, I think the last time I played was six years ago, actually. Huh. Is it is it bad that if uh, is it bad that the um, the first time I actually owned this game for myself was just recently when I downloaded it off the PSN? Well, you recently just got your PS free, so. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I'm gonna say no, given the circumstances. Yeah, I've, been, yep. I've literally. Uh, I've been away from the PlayStation gaming scene for God knows how long, so... Plus this game I is... left after the PlayStation 2 because the PlayStation 3 or Xbox or when I'm Xbox and I'm still on Xbox, but... Yeah! yeah I... Well, I, Sorry. well I, I played this game after Crash 3 and I didn't play 2 until like a couple like a couple years back actually, so... Yeah. Uh, I, I'm actually in the same boat, kind of, but, well, except for me, Crash 2 was until I'm um, about... Uh, Two months ago, actually. Hmm. Because like, like I don't know, I don't know why I never bothered to get it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I just wanted to avoid the rumored cold hard crash. Cold hard crash. We'll yeah, get so, to that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I won't even explain it yet. Yeah, that's gonna be for a little while, but yeah, that level can screw off. Uh, anyway, yeah, but why don't we explain the game right now? Oh, well, basically you. It's like a general platformer, like you jump on boxes that gives you Wumba Fruit, which basically act like coins in Mario. You get a hundred and you get a life. The actual you have three bars, you become invincible and run and like one second faster off the clock and destroy like, everything you touch. When you ha you, and when you, you have you a mask in general. You mean the yeah, yeah boy mask? <laughs> <laughs> yeah boy! Yeah boy! When you, have a, when you have a mask in general, you get one more extra hit. When it's golden, you have two hits. When it's um like... Regular whatever colors, it's one hit, and then when Crash is by himself, is by himself, he gets hit dead. Deed. But yeah. unlike because but, he yeah. doesn't have voodoo magic protecting him. Uh, but the, down, the downside to this uh, game is that unlike uh, games like Mario 64, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, it's actually controlled by um, using the analog stick instead. Of the uh, this the, yeah, this is the D-pad. D-pad, yes, D-pad yeah. instead of the analog stick. Well, yeah, I had the actual PS1 disc of this. Yeah, because I, I don't know why they didn't change it for the PS1 release, because you still have to use the D-pad for this. Oh, let me, oh, Crash 2, for some reason, on the PSN, you have to keep, you, it's digital. You can't yeah. use the analog stick. Yeah, you can't use the analog stick for that either, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Crash that actually had analog support. Yeah, what? in the uh, original release, yeah, but for some yeah. reason they just put it out of the PSN one. Was it? Never mind. <laughs> I was looking at the memory card. <laughs> I love I love that on the PS uh, on the PS3. By the way, you can actually make as many uh, memory cards as you actually want. Yeah. Yeah, even though you only really need one. Exactly, but the thing is, uh, I'm probably gonna m most of my PS3 uh, library is just gonna end up being PS1 uh, <laughs> games downloaded off the PSN. So yeah, well, the reason I actually the, the main reason I actually got a PS3 was to uh, get into a lot of the of the PlayStation franchise that I missed out on over the years. Yeah, same uh, here, to be honest. Well, that I'm late to the box. Well, that I'm late to the box. Well, I didn't. Did he? 
he makes that, impl parts. that unbelievable yeah. Chrono Phantasma extends. But... Uh, no, well, here's yeah. the thing with the invincibility. Sometimes, like, I believe it just like destroys all the boxes. Where even if they're like above you, I believe they'll still get destroyed if you just yeah, like, well... walk past the area. Yeah, yeah, well, Ryan, we might as well explain the thing about the boxes. Um, you may have noticed that at the end of the first level, he got a gem. Yeah. That's, be that's because he broke all the boxes in the level and he got to the end without dying. I want to repeat that, it, to be clear. Yeah. To get the gem, you need to get to the end of the level from the start to finish without dying one at all. Yeah, well, I, well, if you uh, die but you don't hit a checkpoint, then it's still technically possible. Like, if, if you uh, could... Huh? Actually, if you if you get a checkpoint at all, yeah, if you get a checkpoint at all, even if you backtrack to get it, you're yeah. and you're you're not getting it because Crash does yeah. that phew, animation instead of the yes. Yeah, basically. So I'm basically, sorry, as soon as you get the first checkpoint, and if you die, like past that, then you can't get it. Well, as we get a checkpoint, we we just got a bonus stage because you got free Tana emblems. Yeah, like I I I really hate the saving system because like, a couple seconds behind because it buffered for no reason yeah. uh, if, it, if it's not too far then i think we're good yeah, yeah you just got the third tarnas symbol for me yeah yeah as you were saying uh, about was um to save you either need to get the gem or one of those keys that you, you saw or get the uh, bonus stages here yeah and, and and if you don't have a memory card which this is actually a nice thing for back then if you didn't have a memory card you could use the uh password system yeah, it, I I don't really Enjoy like using passwords. the I don't really like using the password system though because you'll you might be able you might just like lose some gems that you collected. Uh, this is really annoying screen though. Yeah, it's great, but you missed boxes. I couldn't get. But yeah, look I, how many boxes you missed. He's he's, he's pretty much criticizing you for you know. Yeah. How dare you not be on a 100% completionist run at the age of three? Speaking of which, um... You little sp scrub. <laughs> speaking, yeah. well, speaking of which, how, how many gems are you going to be getting by the end of this? I'm getting all of the gems. This is a 100% playthrough, actually. So, oh, you're crazy. Yeah, well, I, I did a playthrough of this game on 5th gen, and I got and I did it 100%, so... I thought, why not do it for the group channel I'm, a, like, the main member of? So, okay. But, um... Yeah, well, one one other thing about the save system, though, is that whenever you get a gem, it only saves, like, the gem progression. So, like, you, you get, like, a gem in one level, and then you switch off the game. And then, like, when you go back to the game, you'll go back to the last part, the last point of the game you used the Torna save at. But huh? the, the gem you got from the level you got a gem on will still be collected, but... The level won't be finished. So if it's like you can like say for example you got like the gem in like uh we we'll just say for some crazy example you only saved at like level two there but you got the gems all the way through you would finish the game with every single you have all the gems but you had to go through every level from from level two onwards. Yeah, basically. It's, that is I, I, what? I don't get it either because I, I I thought the game the first time I saw that happen I thought the game would just didn't save properly but then like. I don't know. You this still hide your the, gems. Yeah, it's just like I I go to like road to nowhere for it, for example, and then I see the gem was collected, but the uh, level didn't save like up. Yeah, to yeah, point. it's like I it's like I'm just suddenly getting here for the first time. Well, I have a gem. Yeah, it's really weird. Like I don't understand like the logic behind that. Like if because the gem, video games. Because like, <laughs> if the gem has a saving property, why can't they just make it so it saves your general progress? progress actually um isn't there like a wait, there's a difference between the password system too between gems and getting the uh the tana emblems is that there? I, I i never uh, like the super passwords i think it's called i never used them. oh well that's just 100 oh. percent speaking of the gems do you see those little markers right there it means if he doesn't have a gem he can't get over there and there's boxes over there yeah these ones these, these ones in particular yeah <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so, I think there's a 99% super password that allows you to save it. Yeah, is there? I don't know. Well, like, it, that'd be very specific. Then, like, everyone would just be doing that, because I'll be honest, play playing through this game is a chore nowadays. Mm. I, I still enjoy I mean, this game, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, but, but I don't it's go. It's definitely don't not the best one. No. Yeah, no, no, this is easily the worst of the best, I should say, though. Worst of the best, yeah. Yeah, because. Worst of the big three. Well, well, I, if you don't count crashing racing. 
Uh, no, that, that's a different genre, so I wouldn't. Have you I guys ever it's... played? Have you guys ever played Crash <sighs> Racing? I played the demo of that on one of the Spyro games. I I need to um, get used to controls because I sucked at that. I have the, I still have the PS1 disc, and right. my god, I still love it. Yeah, I, most I have every all of them except for Crash 2 I have on PS1. Oh. Yeah, I'm authentic. <laughs> But yeah, every t whenever we don't get a gem in a level, that's usually because we need a color gem. It, they fixed this problem in the sequels, but in this game, you basically have to go through random levels and hope you get a colored gem, which is kind of stupid. Yeah, the only one I know of off the top of my head is Sunset Vista with the green. I know Slippery Climb is the red gem. But do you, is, is that one you don't, you, but you don't need any other color gem to get that one, right? I don't... Oh yeah, well, that was weird. I, <laughs> I, I don't Crack, like. Oops. I don't know. I don't remember specifics like that. All right. Well, you're doing pretty good so far. You only you only miss. I, I I don't count um I don't count the in the wall in the Great Wall, but um you you so far have been doing pretty good with the gems. Yeah. The um the second level, I believe there was a part where you need to get a color gem for those three boxes. So. Oh yeah. Wait. It's it's what lowers into Obama's pit, doesn't it? Oh no, that's the... That's one of the levels coming up, actually. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, right. Anyways, um... Another thing I gotta say about this game, though, is really good, is it's graphics for its time. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. That's, so, defi that's definitely true. Naughty Dog knows their stuff. Yeah. Is Was that... the fact they were using the same... Maybe a more advanced version of the same graphics as the Star Fox games, 64? Specific. I I don't know I don't know about that, but they just look similar to me. Sixty four and Crash One. Mm. I don't see it. Not do I? See, Wait, what? I, I, I like the triangles and the excessive amount of the triangles. Well, everything here has really high poly. Yeah, it's like Crash's animations are feel a little bit stiff, but. Hey, well, yeah, it's especially start. his turning animation. Especially when he's just standing still and he's like looking around. Yeah. He's just like, up, up. Yeah, the, the controls are fine enough, but they are they can be a little bit stiff, but come to and friend, they are much better. Yeah. But, and, and, well, but I guess I'll, but the level design was at least designed around it. Yeah. So, because like in Crash um, 2 and 3, where, it's, where they had the analog stick of time to work with, it's a lot more, you know, it does a lot more explore, explorative gimmicks to do. Yeah. It's, like it's still pretty linear hallways and whatnot, but it's, sometimes it's a bit more open. Yeah. Well, like, in, when I had to play Crash 2 on the PS3's uh, thing, it's, yeah, I ha I'm stuck with the D-pad, but it, still, the Crash games are at least designed in, in mind of the D-pad. Yeah. Because, like, even though I had to use the D-pad for Crash 2, I, I still think it controls really really well. Yeah, but but Crash 3 needs the analog stick. Yeah, because after like as well as this can control, sometimes I just get like uh, hand cramps after using the D-pad for so long. But that's but, just uh, yeah, kind of ironic considering it's one of the better D-pads even on a controller there is. Yeah, well that's just I, that's just me in general after using any D-pad for a while. Oh, well, like, what's what's the most nightmarish one I can think of? Uh, uh, GameCube. Uh, it's I I probably say the 360 one actually. Oh God. Well, uh, I I, don't I wanna... actually like the 360 D-pad. Same here. Really? Uh, by the way, we can just ignore this boss. <laughs> I I. Right? Just... Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, this is a very simple boss. We can just ignore him and go talk about the, the 360 controller. <laughs> uh, I, I know. Like... No, but the, th the thing about the 360 controller is that people give it a lot more shit than it actually deserves. It really isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Double KO. Yeah, that was a fail. What? I, 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 thought, I thought you still had two hits. <laughs> yeah, you can actually get hit by by him like when he dies. Oh, like... uh, by the way, you know you can just completely dodge him by standing on his chair. I will say this though, they improved the D-pad for the Xbox One. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it... Yeah... I don't know, like, the... It's effort... like... Mm. 
The 361 has like this weird circle thing around it, and it just... That's because it's built as a joystick. Yeah, that's the problem. It shouldn't be like that. That's what an yeah, like, 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 don't like all the, uh, like, the buttons move together, or, like, some, or some, when you push one if, in? It feels like... I liked it because you could use it for diagonals. Mm. Well, but, whereas uh, with, a, say, a PlayStation controller, you'd have to awkwardly try and press both of the buttons at the same time. Mm. And a lot of the time it responds one before the other and locks out the diagonal. Uh, my main problem with Xbox, with the Xbox controller, and I never thought about doing that, but, uh... The thing about the Xbox controller that I really don't like is the ABYX buttons, to be honest. Eh. It, besides yeah. the well, that is not the thickness of the controller itself. It's because I'm I've been ra I've been born and raised on the Nintendo since the Super Nintendo, but we Oh, so have... you think the buttons are inverted. Well, yeah, the button yeah, my mind just can't adjust to it. Yeah, cuz I like, um what was it? I play I played Unleashed HD at our friend's house once and when when we got to the tornado level, I was so confused because, like, with all the um, buttons and everything. Oh, oh, I, oh I, I actually never knew that Brio token was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you. Not that it matters. Right? And oh. that happened. <laughs> no, not yeah. Actually, we should probably mention up like the, the Tana emblems earlier. There's also um, embryo tokens and uh, cortex tokens. Yeah, cortex tokens give you keys to um, two bonus levels. I f I don't think the embryo tokens do anything other than give you lives. It, it, yeah, give you lives and stuff. Like uh, um, I, I don't I think. think it, uh, sorry. Uh, I, I don't think it even lets you save because last t last time I remember doing those, we, you just go. Onto the teleporter and it goes makes you go straight back to the stage. Hmm? Yeah, I don't think it lets you save. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Like, they're all the really lies, but the, here's the thing. Also, while this game has the weird controls, it's not that hard to be honest. Yeah, like th this game is definitely aged in definitely in terms of like controls and stuff, but oh, but it's more evident with just the animation, the crash. Yeah. It's like I'm more used to crashes, more smooth, natural running animation. Yeah, same. Oh. Man, I had times of grown. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because like, uh, what was I? I again, I, I have Clash One for free on the P I One and three and C T R on P S One discs. Yeah, and like... the no, graphics still yeah. look nice even today. Yeah. Cause I um like, I played Crash Free then this and it I still enjoyed this game but man it was like a real it's a it was a huge step backwards. Oh actually a uh, bad memory right here. Um, what happened was uh, I was trying in my most recent time playing Crash One. Yeah. Um, the mo my most recent time in, on this level in particular I stepped onto the teleporter after doing the bonus, and it just uh, and the game kind of froze. Well it didn't huh. freeze. Well it didn't. Fr well, my desk was pretty old so you can imagine. But, uh, what happened- oh, this is the bottom one I'm talking about. Yeah, um, cause I- No, you as I was saying, right, Yeah, I'm gonna finish my thought first, if you don't mind. It's, uh, what was it, uh, what- what happened was, like, you, you can see- cause you can still see Tana, like, looking left and right, and you can see, like, animations and stuff, but the music stops. Huh. Yeah, but the, uh, the color jump path makes you go to a bottomless pit, which is really weird, cause, like, I, you can kind of see a pathway down there, but if you fall normally, you'll just die. Yeah. Oh, but and here comes the first. And here comes one of the special gimmick levels. Yeah, but um, before we talk about this, the, in the fifth gen play for actually in one of the tournament bonus rooms, for some reason the text like say save complete or whatever didn't show up, and it was just blank. I don't. I have no idea why. So, what was the pause there? <laughs> uh, I I don't know what that was about. Um, <laughs> maybe it was a very clever jump cut. Yeah. Going back to when we were talking about controllers earlier, yeah. there's one thing that I think is a downgrade between, well, the two things I think are downgrades between the 360 and the Xbox One controller. Yeah. The joysticks on the Xbox One controller are a lot smaller, and they're dished in a way that after maybe four days of playing, literal skin starts building up inside it and it's disgusting. Yeah, well, I, like, more like if you like, like, like if you tried to spin around the answer before controller or something? 
Uh, well, mm. yeah, probably. You know, I, I... if that was the case with the N64 controller and it was ridged, and here's the thing: instead of it wearing down, it builds up with skin and becomes flat, and it's like it's horrible. It hurts. I, I don't. I don't. Too. I don't actually mind the N64 control stick, but uh, the thing with the Xbox One controller is that I I find the joysticks fine enough, but I just don't like how there's like that those weird circle things around it and the um, yeah the, the the dish that it's in yeah yeah you're also going to start noticing that skin's going to start building up in the edges of that and it's going to be yeah I can I can I can see I can see that now actually yeah. It I've not even had this a week and it's building up. It's horrible. I and the they're also not guys. as big as the uh, 360 joystick. The pads aren't. So it's hard to get a grip, but only just. And, eh. Yeah, but anyways. The part end, guys. Huh? Also, on the 360 controllers, there were wait, lights we, around the Xbox wait, can button. We, can we wait for, can we wait and for, they would tell you which player you are because it's annoying trying to figure out which controller you are if you got four controllers. I want, mind if I actually talk about the, the PlayStation controller next part? Yeah, yeah sure. We, All right, then. My, my video, my, um, I'm on the playlist, so I went straight for, to part two, so I didn't even realize the video ended. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I st I, yeah. I, st I, st I, st I stopped the video right after the video. I stopped the video, honestly. Oh, my right God. I wondered, what, I wondered what was going on. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, right, stop the recording. Okay. Well, I saw the minute. It's the next episode. <laughs>